Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you a new, well, it's not new, but it's a different version. So, uh, on how to knit heels starting from the toe up. And uh, this, uh, just wanted to show you. As you can see, there's no holes. It's just great. Okay, uh, it's a new technique I find out. Looks like there's a hole, but there's no holes at all. Okay, it's on a sock blocker. I did wash it. It's cotton, uh, Caron cotton yarn, if you look at it. Yeah, only here because uh, of the way I knit. I should have, I did frog it and redo it, but unfortunately it looks like there's a loop here. But other than that, I'm focusing on the heel and there's no holes. Just only this driving me nuts. Well, that will close out. That's nothing to worry about. And uh, here is the heel. You can see it is symmetric. So I'm going to show you how to knit it up and I have measured it. So it's time for to do the heel. Okay. I'm just gonna lay this flat. Okay, so it's time to do the heel. This is, so here we are. So I'm just gonna knit up to here and then finish it up. Okay, to do that, this is the right side. This is the, well, the bottom. This is the top, this is the bottom. There's 20 stitches here, 20 stitches here. Here, this is a three weight. Uh, it says it's a four weight, but, uh, and I'm knitting with uh, three millimeter knitting needles. And uh, so what I did is, I knit all the way here. Okay, but I was supposed to. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to knit the wrong side. And then from here, we're going to start doing the short rows. But there's a new technique. I think I see, like I said, I'm not good with names. Uh, I will put it on the title. <laughs> Just need to figure it out. So um, yeah, I tried so many times different ways. This is the best way. Okay, so I'm going to slide and then purl the wrong side, just like this. And then when I come all the way to the end, what we're going to do is we're going to make short rows and then turn around. But to do that, there's a new way. like this I better remove these because I think it's focusing on the background again okay so I am not going to knit this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this and then grab it where this uh, pearl is can you see there's a pearl right there. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to knit that just like this. And I'm going to put these, these two stitches. So this is the trick. And I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to continue knitting. I'm not going to divide the 20 stitches to three. Uh, I'm just going to continue knitting until I have 10 stitches in the middle. 10, I think 10, yeah, 10 is okay. So I'm gonna knit, knit, knit to the end. So we are doing the heel again. Okay, so this is the last stitch. Can you see the V here? So I'm going to grab this loop and I'm going to knit that loop. OK, 
okay and then I'm going to put it back and then turn my work so doing this way gives that um, no hole technique let's say it that way yeah we don't want holes on our socks right and we want it nicely tight knits I did notice um, I didn't I tried to do anything but I didn't see the knot the the yarn itself came out with a knot and I can't even find it yeah that's the thing because I washed it and I tried to tuck it in so sometimes it's noticeable and the knot kept on going yeah I can't even find it here it is see no matter what I did the knot kept on going outside but when I washed it with hot hot water this is cotton I guess the cotton kind of uh, Holded that uh, knot so it's hidden inside. So uh, I would highly recommend is to when you see a knot when you're knitting with cotton. Okay, okay, I went fast. So I put this back here and I grab that knit stitch, that purl, that bump, that loop, and then I knit it. And I put those two stitches back. And I turn my work, yarn is on the back, and then I continue knitting. So uh, I would highly recommend you to weave it. Yeah, the yarn itself came with a knot, unfortunately. Yeah, we can't control that, right? Mm. Something wrong here. I don't like it out. Let me just fix it if you see anything like this just frog it and try to fix it something happened there see there's a huge loop so what I do is I grab a crochet hook it happens it looks like I did not knit this stitch this loop here so try to pull it and then you can fix it definitely when you're knitting fast sometimes you miss the stitch and then yeah see it's fixed <clears throat> uh, I was reading some comments and I have uh, new subscribers uh, I don't know if they're subscribing but they've been watching my tutorials and uh, if you're new to the channel welcome to my channel yeah, I've been uh, knitting since I was 10 and I'm 54 at the moment 2023 and I opened my channel in 2009. Okay, so I'm back here. And I grab this uh, knit, this loop here. And I knit that, just like this. And I put it back. See, we have two loops. That's what we're, uh, you have two stitches. That's what we're aiming for. And then that trick gives, gives the technique for something I don't know it uh, you don't have any holes because remember I've been talking about this sock that I have knit and I did short rows here it's okay it's not noticeable but here when I come to the end and I tried I knit it with a small needle and I t knit it so tight but still I can see those holes between which I don't like here it's worse here there's one two three four five here there's one two see I don't like those but on this one there's no holes see what I mean it's nice and when I put when I put it on see nothing just love it love it love it So uh, I am going to knit to the end. Well, not to the end. Uh, you will notice when you are at that point, which is right here. So four more stitches. <gasps> two, three, 
Okay, so we have the two. Now we're doing the third. So I'm going to repeat that. I put the stitch here and I grab that loop and I knit that. I knit it, I purl it. Okay, and then I put those two stitches back and I turn my work and I continue knitting until I come here to the third and I repeat what I did the first row and the second. Okay, let me knit and I will come back to show you. Okay, so I am back to the last knit stitch right there. And I'm going to repeat what I just did on the previous here. So I'm going to grab that leg here, that knit, that loop, and I'm going to knit it. And I'm going to put it back. And I'm going to turn my work just like this. And I'm going to knit the wrong side until I come to the fourth here. Okay, let me show it one more time. It's super easy. And I can't tell you how satisfying it is when you finish a project. So this is my third socks. I need to go back to my big items. My arm is feeling better. So, and uh, when I'm knitting more socks, I will always come back to show you different techniques, different ways. So I put the stitch here and I grab it from here. And I just knit that automatically. Okay, so we have two stitches, two here. And I put them back. So I'm going to continue knitting like this back and forth until I have a total of 10 stitches in the middle. And then I will come to show you how to pick these stitches back. Okay, and I'll be right back. I know there's the name for this. Like I said, I'm not good with names. I even forget what I ate this evening. <laughs> so I am not good with names, unfortunately. So here we go. I'm knitting. I'll show you one more time. And... Okay, so grab this loop, knit it, put it back, turn my work. So we have two stitches. You always count so four here four here so I'm going to get rid of one here and one there and I'll be done okay let me do that and I will be right back okay so I am at the last one I'm just gonna purl this okay so we have two four five and then we have ten stitches here and then two, four, five. It has to be equal on both sides. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, now well, we need to get rid of these. So first I'm going to knit these two together. Purl them together. Okay, so uh, remember how we made two. Now we're going to make three stitches here. So we're going to move this two stitches. And then we're going to knit this. Curl this and then we're going to put the back, turn our work, and then we're going to knit across. Okay, and then just kind of, you know, play around with it. Relax the stitch so there won't, it won't be bumpy. So I'm going to knit all the way to my next uh, double stitches. Here we are, and then I'm just going to knit these two together. Okay, just like this and then here I'm going to make this three so I'm going to pull this and then I'm going to knit this stitch either you can put it here and then knit it and then put that back so we make three stitches and then I turn my work just like this and then I start knitting purling knitting the wrong side of the sock inside of the sock which is purl all the way until I come to the three stitches.
Okay, and I knit these three together, get rid of them, and then I move these two stitches and I make another one, another stitch, and I move these back, and I turn my work. So this is the trick when you knit like this, when you try to pull it, relax the stitch, because you were knitting three stitches, right? So it, it will get bumpy. Okay. And then I'm going to knit until I come to the three stitches. And I repeat it until I'm finished. And this is all to it. So this is the trick on how Okay, knit these three together, grab it from there, knit it three together, and then try to pull this, and then make three on this one, last one. Put it back, so I have three stitches. First we made two stitches, and then now when we're closing up, knit this when we're closing up, we're making three stitches. Just like this. Okay, knit these three together. Tight as you can. Put these two stitches on the right needle. Grab that loop right loop there, knit that loop and make three stitches, put them back, turn my work, and then knit. And automatically there's no hole, see? I just love this technique. It's a little bit tricky, but you will get the hang of it. I think this is one of the easiest methods that you can make uh, heels. Okay, so, see, no holes. And then I'm going to, when you see the three stitches, knit them three together, just like this. And then grab this loop here, make the third stitch, put it back, turn my work. Just like this. And then purl all the way when you see the three stitches. It's magical. Okay, knit these three stitches together just like this. And then when you come to the two stitches, put them on the right needle. Grab this. Knit that stitch, make it three. Turn your work. And, uh, whoops, forgot to move. Put them on the needle back. Okay, put these three stitches on the needle turn my work and then knit until you come to the three stitches just like this okay i hope this tutorial is helpful i tried to show it show it as easy and uh, quickest way how to knit this beautiful whole See, no holes. Just love it. Okay, being, um, so I knit these three stitches just like this. Just like this. And then when I got the last one, okay, I'm going to put this here and then knit that. Okay. And then I have three stitches. Okay, unfortunately, I'm finished. Oh, there's another one here. I forgot about this fellow. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, we're almost done. Yeah. 
So I am going to put this back on this needle, these three stitches. Okay, turn my work. Okay. And then I thought this was the last. So I'm going to knit all the way to the end. Well, I mean knit is purl because it's the wrong side. Yarn on the front. Okay, so I'm going to knit these two, three stitches together. And I am done. We're going to turn our work. Okay, this time I am not going to knit this last stitch. Because I don't want the height. I'm going to... And then knit all the way to the end with the last three stitches. And then we're going to start knitting the cuff area. Round and around until the length that you need. I want it high this time. So, um, yeah. So, three stitches. I am going to knit these three together. And we're done. And then we just continue knitting. Okay, so try to make this knit stitch as tight as you can. Okay. Because we're joining, right? So, try to make it as tight as you can. Yeah, just pull that as tight. Because uh, we're joining the round, right? And then, I'm going to do the same thing. When I finish the 20th stitch, this is the front, the top of the sock. Okay, so turn my work. And try to pull pull the, there's uh, there might be a gap what you can do is there's a trick I can show you to give that height Yeah, there might be a gap, and we don't want any holes, right? Let me just try to knit without doing anything, and then we'll see if there's a gap. You can always... I don't think so, but... Uh, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. I tried to knit the, those two stitches together, so it's it was nice... Brilliant idea not to knit that first stitch. <laughs> right? So we, we, we didn't have that height. Okay, so this is all to it. So I hope you like this tutorial. And uh, let me just show you one more time. 